Hello everyone and welcome to Children's Liturgy. Today is a very special Sunday. It is Pentecost Sunday, the day that the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples and the birthday of the church. The name Pentecost comes from the Greek word for 50th day. It was the Jewish festival of weeks, which is 50 days over after Passover, where the Jewish people remember their exodus from Egypt and when Moses received the Ten Commandments of the Divine Law. For us, it is 50 days after Easter. Now at the time of Jesus, they would have celebrated this as an early harvest festival and lots of people used to get together to celebrate the special feast day. And that's exactly how our reading today from the Acts of the Apostles describes the special event. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Pentecost Day came around, the Apostles had all met in one room, when suddenly they heard what sounded like a powerful wind from heaven, the noise of which filled the entire house in which they were sitting. And something appeared to them that seemed like tongues of fire. These separated and came to rest on the head of each of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak foreign languages as the Spirit gave them the gift of speech. Now there were devout men living in Jerusalem from every nation under heaven, and at this sound they all assembled, each one bewildered to hear these men speaking his own language. They were amazed and astonished. Surely, they said, all these men speaking are Galileans. How does it happen that each of us hears them in his own native language, preaching about the marvels of God? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before Jesus went up to heaven, he had reassured the disciples that the Holy Spirit would be coming to give them the power they needed to go out and continue his work of spreading the gospel. But they hadn't really understood exactly what he had meant and they were still anxious and they had to gather together and were praying when suddenly the room was filled with a wind and what appeared to be flames resting gently on each head but didn't burn. What changed in that moment? The Holy Spirit changed them from being scared to excited. They were given strength and courage and went straight away to tell others about God's love. Our Gospel today is taken from the Holy Gospel according to John. Let's sing our Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. God be in my thinking, God be in my speaking, and God be in my loving. Late in the evening, the disciples sat huddled together, feeling sad and afraid. The doors of the room were locked, to stop the Jews finding them. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the room with them, and said, Peace be with you. They were amazed when they saw him, and could hardly believe their eyes. But Jesus showed them the wounds in his hands, and where the sword had pierced his side. They were filled with joy and wonder. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. Just as my Father sent me, so I am sending you. Then he breathed on them, saying, The Holy Spirit has been given to you. Whatever you choose to forgive will be forgiven. Whatever is not forgiven by you will remain unforgiven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm all ready for the party. I have got our presents. And I have got the cake and candles. I have got bubbles, balloons, party blower, and even a party whistle. But there's something wrong with this picture. What do I need?
just like a breath of air and flame, helps these items fulfill their potential, gives them some life for the party. So too does the Holy Spirit fill us and give us our life to be able to live God's word and spread it with others around us. Let's sing this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Holy Spirit, thank you for helping us to let the light of Jesus shine through our lives. Please, Holy Spirit, give us strength each day to, to share Christ's love and peace with others. Amen. Have a good week, everybody, and I'll see you next Sunday.